welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel today this is kind of a different video i've never done like a makeup tutorial and i wouldn't really call this a makeup tutorial just because like i'm not a makeup artist and it's not really like in your face makeup but today i'm gonna share with you guys how i do my makeup so i don't look like a dead girl so i just washed and moisturized my face you can't tell because my skin is dry my makeup is like the definition of simple, especially when I'm like, because sometimes I'll do my makeup and then I look like I have the bold glamour filter on. So, <laughs> like yesterday I did my makeup and I liked it, but it didn't really look like I was wearing makeup. But I wouldn't call this a no makeup makeup look because like you can tell like, you can tell I'm wearing makeup. But it's really just so that I don't look like I'm dead, laying in the ground. I start off with these three concealers again this is very budget friendly these are from Target it's like the Maybelline fit me um this I feel like I've had this in my makeup collection since I was in like 10th grade but I don't use it I don't like the other day I cleaned up my makeup bag and I had makeup in there from like I just a guy <laughs> sorry <laughs> um but yeah so this is, I do, like, this one is, like, the color of my skin. This one is a little bit lighter. And then this one is, like, the color of my chin, I feel like. Because I feel like my chin is darker than the rest of my face. Um, and my forehead. My forehead is dark. So, yeah. So I put this one, like, under my eyes because my eyes are the color of my skin i don't know how to explain what i'm trying to say but under my eyes and then i had like some little dark spots like here and then like i just saw like two red dots on my forehead so we're done with this one next i'm gonna use the darker one okay so the dark one like i said i put it on my chin and then my forehead and just kind of over here and now i'm gonna blend <laughs> lastly for concealer i'm gonna use this light one it's kind of like really light i don't know i think when i got this i thought it was my shade and it just absolutely wasn't um so then i just started using it like for brightening and stuff so i just put a teeny bit right under my eyes and on my corners because what is that thing called like the tear stain had me look like a dead person okay base is done y'all i'm i just be saying stuff i don't even know but i feel like concealer is my base because i don't use foundation because i have not good experiences with foundation i just feel like it makes me look like a piece of cake you know um Moving on. So next, I use the Glossier Cloud Paint in Storm. Stormy. I feel like blush is really what brings life to your face. Like, I could go a day and get ready and, like, just put on blush and already I look like a brand new person. I'm just going to use, this is almost too much, but I'm just going to use a little beetle. I used to blend this out with my fingers, but it just became like, or not became, but when you blend it out with your finger, it's, it's much more pigmented um, because the beauty blender soaks it up. So when you do it with the beauty blender, it's less red. So usually I do it with the beauty blender because I don't like it to be like too in your face. Um, so. Okay, I blended my blush. I don't really know if you can tell the difference, but I can definitely tell a difference. There's a lot more color in my face and just... Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows. So usually I would use this NYX, the brow glue, um, but that's when I want like my brows to be like... But I always, always, always use the Lift and Snatch um because whether i'm doing like big brows or just regular brows i like this because i like to make my brows look bushy like they're not bushy so i like to make my brows look bushy 
and I like to use this because it's like you can create like strokes because of like the little tiny can you see the little tiny thing that it has I'm gonna kind of just eep, 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 and just fill in where my eyebrows are a little bit Okay, I know this looks a mess, but you gotta trust the process. So at first I just kind of draw it on and I also like to kind of give myself a unibrow. Why did I say it like that? I like to give myself a unibrow because that adds to the bushiness. So I draw like lines further in than my eyebrows actually go. And then trust the old, dusty old, very much heavy on the dusty old um, spoolie. And I just kind of comb the lines, I guess, like into my eyebrows so it all blends in. Okay, so this is how my eyebrows look after I brushed out like the strokes. They just look a little bit fuller, but they're still not really defined. So next I'm gonna go with this Anastasia. My sister just gave this to me the other day, so I just started using it, but I actually kind of like it. So I'm going to go with this and not necessarily push the brows up, but just kind of slick them so they stay in place. I don't really like the like shiny eyebrow look, so I like this better than the NYX brow glue because it doesn't make my eyebrows look shiny, if that makes sense. <laughs> So I put the, what is it called, pomade? Styling wax. I put the styling wax in my eyebrows. And whenever I do that, and I, like when I fill them in first and then put styling wax, the product kind of goes like above my eyebrows and it looks like dark. So I like to take a Q-tip with water on it and just like, you know, wipe above my eyebrows so it doesn't look like I have dirt on my forehead. Like, and then after that, I just kind of fix them how they need to be fixed. Now I have bushy eyebrows. Next is eyes. When it comes to my eyelashes, um, when I'm doing my makeup, sometimes, okay, rarely I wear fake eyelashes. Like I will do like cluster lashes and keep them for like a week. But then whenever I take them off, I have no eyelashes left. So I haven't done them in probably like two, three months. Um, and I also, don't put makeup on my face every day and I definitely don't put mascara on my eyes every day because I don't know like whenever I put mascara on my eyes just get itchy I don't know if I'm allergic to mascara or what but like my like I just feel the need to just touch my eyes like my my like where my eyelashes grow out of gets itchy so usually my eyelashes are already long so I usually just curl them and that's about it sometimes I curl them and put clear mascara on but then my eyelashes start to separate and they look like they're not even there at all so i'm just gonna curl my eyelashes for today just because you know yeah the way i curl my eyelashes is gonna look a little psychotic but trust me it works okay eyelashes are curled can you tell the difference? Like they're both curled, but like, I don't know. I just prefer to have my eyelashes look like they're not caked up with mascara. Usually when I use mascara, I use brown mascara because black mascara, from far away, I feel like I look like this. And it's just not cute, so yeah. Okay, next, I like to highlight my nose and my like cheeks and my eyes. Sometimes. My eyes, I don't do it unless I'm, like, going somewhere fancy. But I can't find the highlighter that I found it. Um, but I also have this one. This one's, like, really, like, in your face. But 
I prefer this one because it's like liquid highlighter. So it's on its last leg, honey. Look at that. <laughs> but somehow I managed to get some out every time. But I just like to highlight my nose, my cheeks, and my eyes. <laughs> Okay, so this is how the highlight looks. Um, I'm going to use this over it. I don't usually do this, but for you guys, I'm going to get a little fancy. I'm going to just go over just my nose, I think, because... Oh! I look like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. No, I can't remember my y'all. I ain't going to lie. Not today. Okay, highlight is done. Lastly is lips and for me lips are the biggest thing because even if my lips aren't dry if i don't have like some type of lip gloss on them they look gray and they look dry and mm, it just doesn't really add to the i like to use the nyx butter gloss in ginger snap um this is like a dupe for the fenty gloss the hot chocolate and i would know because i used to have it but i used it in like a week and it was 25 dollars, and i was like Buy again or buy a dupe. I have like three, four of these. So use this first. Okay, so lips. And next I use this fruit fetish. It's the Milani. These were really popular on TikTok, and every time I would go to the store, they didn't have them in stock. But I don't really know now, but um, this is raspberry peach, and it's just like a pink one. And I like to use this because the butter gloss is like straight up brown, basically. Uh, so I like to have a little tint of pink in there. That is pretty much it the lips are the last thing um usually throughout the day like i'll be talking and eating and stuff and i don't like to bring like lip gloss like i wouldn't be like applying these two things actually i did yesterday but usually i wouldn't be like applying these two things out when i'm just out because it's a lot of work so i usually just keep aquaphor and then like summer fridays because this is basically the same shade as the nyx butter gloss um, but honey, I'm running out, so I should've put that on my Christmas list, right? I know that's right. But this is the makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.